Hey guys, I wanted to get on here today and do a quick follow-up video to my bidet video I did a little over a year ago when I first got it. And the reason I wanted to do a little follow-up is because with COVID-19 going around, there is a lot of interest in bidets with everyone buying out all the toilet paper, which is completely... I'm so damn confused. <laughs> I have seen a big spike in that video because I think people are looking for alternatives to, al to toilet paper, which I'm really happy about because that decreases waste. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to go over is the price. I've had a few comments asking why I didn't include the price and that's because I included links in the description and so I figured you could go and it would tell you the price in case it varies. But I'll tell you what I spent on it a year ago which was $57.95 and to me that was a good investment if I could decrease my waste, be more cleanly in my toilet usage and decrease my use of toilet paper. I do have the top of the line version of Lux so if you get a different version besides the three six, sorry 320 then it will be less expensive. Right now a lot of the bidets are unavailable because of everything going on with COVID-19. I think a lot of people invested in a bidet so in case they ran out of toilet paper. And if you want to get one, I did see that the 185, if you follow the link below in the description, was still available last I checked. So if you still want one, those are available. It'll still work really great and do all the necessary things that you need a bidet to do. Another question I get a lot is what do you do once you have sprayed your down underside and everything's all wet? I, they say, oh, I have to use tons of toilet paper. Well, ideally you would use some kind of cloth alternative like a towel or a washcloth. I like to just keep washcloths rolled at the, like in front of my uh, toilet because I have a counter right in front of my toilet. And you just dry yourself. You, if it's still clean, I guess you could just use it again. I just throw mine in a basket, and then once I've gone through those washcloths, I wash them, and it's as simple as that. Something else I wanted to mention, so this is number three, is that I bought seat risers that I thought you had to buy with the bidet to make it even because the bidet kind of connects underneath the toilet seat and I did not need those at all. I never used them. I had them in case I ended up needing them but I haven't and so I would not recommend buying those and just trying it first because you're not going to be able to really use those for anything else. I recently got a graphic comment about if someone has diarrhea does the spout get dirty or or something like that and I'm gonna go and show you and um, it'll be easier to explain why it doesn't get dirty and why you don't have to worry about poop spraying up on your spout and how the bidet keeps it clean. Okay so there are three different mechanisms that help to keep the spout of the bidet clean and that way you're not spraying any fecal matter when you're trying to clean yourself. So I'm going to show you what those three things are. So the first thing is this little cover. You can see it kind of is movable. Um, but that is like a shield for the spouts and the spouts pop out down underneath the shield so that way it can spray. The second thing is if you move this, you can see that the spout comes down and the sprayer is actually inside of there. So it's like inside of a little sheath. So if you pull this down, the, the part that sprays is in here. So even if something were to make it past this little shield, it's not going to actually get in the spout. It's just going to get on this outside little tube. And the third thing is, if you go here to the nozzle cleansing option, and you lift this, it cleans the nozzles. So you can actually clean the part that would get sprayed. You can clean the part that would get sprayed on without having to touch it. I also have a bleach solution that I spray this and this with and then I just wipe it down with a cloth. And I do that every so often just to make sure it's kept clean. 
And the last thing I want to touch on, which is seriously the most common thing that people comment on after watching my first video, is about the force of the spray. And people seem to think that the force is like, I don't know, going to sear you right through your bum. <laughs> um, it's really not that bad. And the lever is kind of adjustable so it can come out less forceful or more forceful. I'm also gonna go up and I will show you how that works. So to show you how you can limit the forcefulness, I'm gonna show you on the wash setting so you can see it a little easier. So if I lift this just a little bit, see how it barely trickles out? It's barely coming out. And then if I lift it all the way, it like goes full force. So here's a little. I put it down a little bit, barely trickles. And then if I lift this up, all the way, you can see it comes out more forcefully. So I brought my same blue bowl from the first video. And I'm going to put this on the wash setting. And I'm going to lift this up just a little bit. And you can see right now, it's barely... Like, it's not even hitting you. It's barely trickling. And if I lift it up a little more... So you can adjust how forceful it is. I promise you it's not going to hurt you even on full force. You are going to be fine. So there you have it. Okay, that's it. That's my looks bidet. If you'd like to go back and see the part one, I will link that up above. And it shows like the installation. I installed it myself. I had never installed a bidet before. It kind of shows how it works and why I got it. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. I would love to answer them for you, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!